Hey, welcome back to another episode of Simple Truth Television. Today is November 28th, 2023. I wanted to make this video because I want to thank all the people who donated to the Haiti food drive that we did last Wednesday. Without you guys, this wouldn't even be possible. And I counted how many people donated. It was a total of 42 people, including myself. And um, I, I, if you go to my blog, simpletruthtelevision.blogspot.com, I did a list. I wrote a list down of all the names that, of the people who donated and the amount that each person donated. And if you guys can see at the top, we have a person that I consider a friend. He he goes by the handle major on Instagram. He donated a hundred and five dollars. He was the biggest donator out of everybody. So shout out to you, my brother. Thanks a lot. You helped feed a lot of people. Um, each bag, like if you guys saw the video, each bag had thirty dollars worth of groceries, and um, one hundred and five is, is is like three uh, more than three bags. All right. So thanks a lot, my brother. God bless you. I, I know you told me that you want to be there next year. Hey, if you want to be there next year, we can uh, definitely organize that. And we can make it bigger than uh, how it was this year. So, And this year was really, really successful. I, I set the goal at $1,000. And we was able to raise a little over 1000 You know, when I made the video, I said we only raised $800. And that's because after I made the, after the video posted... More people donated. People kept donating, so donations kept coming in. So in total, we raised one thousand one hundred and seventy-five dollars, and the goal was only a thousand. Last year, we was only able to raise five hundred dollars. So it looks like every year is getting bigger and better. More people are are donating. And if you guys saw the video, I only asked for a dollar, and nobody nobody don almost nobody donated a dollar. And, and and thank God because if if that wasn't the case, we would only had forty dollars because only forty, or we would have forty forty one dollars because only forty one people donated. I don't understand why more people didn't step up for this. I mean, this was a great cause. You guys saw the video. You guys saw how happy those people were, and those people are really in need. You know, those people live under terrible conditions out there, and I mean, it is what it is. I, I want to make this video just, I want to I want to dedicate this video to the people who did donate, though. I don't want to focus too much on the people who didn't, all right? I wrote my name down there because I wrote $150. I actually spent a lot more because if you calculate the gasoline and the, the car rental, the, I had to pay the camera person. I even paid all the little workers, all the little kids that helped me out. I gave them each $2 each. The reason I wrote 150 is because that's how much money I spent on the groceries. But I actually spent a lot more, and um, it, it was a lot more than 150. But I, I just I, I rounded it off to 150 dollars. It was actually a lot more if you take into account you know the car rental and everything else that I, I spent. Randy Y Chin, he donated a hundred dollars. So look, so Major Randy Justin Raskin. And Ram and S each donated a hundred dollars. That's four hundred dollars. So those four people, only those four people raised half of the money that we raised. They, they donated half of the money that we almost raised. Just those four people. So they, they made up the the burden for four hundred people. Psh, amazing. Thanks a lot, you guys. God bless you. I mean, those people definitely appreciate it. You know, they definitely needed it. I mean, it's not like we gave food to people who had food already. Those people were in desperate need. All right? So, shout out to those people. Shout out to Nima Larry also, who donated 50. Shout out to Linda McMillan, who also donated 50. Super Villa. Or Soup Super Villa. I don't know how you say that. Shout out to you, my brother. You donated $50. I appreciate you. Thank you. Terrell Barnes, forty-eight fifty. Maybe you donated more. Maybe it wasn't fifty, but PayPal, you know, they, they take out fees. So I was only able to see that you donated forty-eight fifty. Shout out to Gideon Watson. He donated forty-five dollars. Diego, forty dollars. 
GoFundMe funds donated twenty five dollars. Jonathan Lee donated twenty five. Shout out to Sports Gematria who sent twenty dollars. Thank you, my brother. Thomas donated twenty. Vinny Palmer sent twenty. Railway Olaco sent twenty. Lonnie Jolly Jr. sent twenty. Marcus Bennett sent twenty. Marco Power sent nineteen dollars. Daniel Long sent ten seventy eight. Sharon McLean she sent ten dollars. Thank you. Rebecca Livingston she sent ten dollars. Marcus Bennett sent ten dollars. My friend Joey sent ten dollars. Thank you, my brother. Sharice she sent ten. Leslie sent ten. Jason sent ten. Nathan Stewart sent ten. Catherine Brown sent nine fifty five. Jasmine, she sent six dollars. Errol sent five sixteen. Alethea sent five dollars. TPTV Two Live sent five dollars. Bernard, he sent five. Justin sent five. Ross White, he sent five. Ecru sent four. Christopher sent two dollars. Mary sent two dollars. Luther Bang sent a dollar. And Dan from Numerical Line, he sent a dollar. Every penny counts, you guys. I appreciate everybody from the people who sent the dollar all the way to the people who sent the hundred dollars. Everything matters. Shout out to the 41 people who felt like this was important enough for them to donate to. And um, I, I mean, if you guys saw the video, you guys saw how happy these people were. These people were not pretending. They definitely need it. Haiti was in desperate need. I wish I could have did more. But, you know, we didn't have enough resources. Even though we have a community out there who claims they want change. You know, when times like this, they don't step up to the plate. Which is which is sad. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, we helped a lot of people out there. A lot of people were in need. A lot of children, a lot of baby mothers without their fathers at home. A lot of kids without their fathers at home. A lot of single baby mothers is what I mean. And if you look at look around, look look at the way these houses are built. Dude, this is this is this is poverty at its finest right here. When it rains, these people houses get get drink, get um flooded. You know, the the you know, these third world countries they need the help the most. The difference between the, the the people in these countries and the people in America is that the people in America have access to food. They have access to food whether you're homeless or not. There's a lot of places here that can feed the homeless. These people, even though they're not homeless, they don't have a lot of opportunities. They don't have food stamps. They don't have welfare. They don't have none of those programs that we have here in the United States. And... I really wish I didn't have to record it because I don't like recording these type of events. But the only reason I had I, I felt like I needed to document this on video is because I really want people to see what's going on in the world. Nobody's really get to see the none of the conditions a lot of these people live in. Because when you see when they show the Dominican Republic or they show Haiti on TV, they tend to show the good parts. They don't tell they don't they don't show you the the the, the parts that need help because that's how the government is able to disguise their cruelty they know they know people are living under these conditions but they don't give a fuck they don't give a fuck All right and um yeah so like i was saying i don't like documenting these stuff but the, the reason i feel like i needed to is because there are people donating and i need everybody to know that i am not you know, stealing the money that's being brought in, that the money that they are donating are is is being used for the cause. You know, thirty bags of groceries was were given out, and each bag was documented. Each person that received the bag was recorded, so you guys can see that there was no scamming going on, no dishonesty. Everything was transparent. I try to make it as transparent as possible. So hopefully next year, we are able to raise a little over a thousand. Maybe we'll raise two thousand dollars. We'll see. 
But for right now, these 41 people are the people who care the most about the rest of the world. Everybody else is just claiming that they care, but it, it takes resources to make things happen. And if you're able to help people eat for a week, that's more than what a lot of other people are doing. People are on YouTube selling T-shirts, selling hats, coffee mugs, claiming that they care about the world. You know, there's people saying that Sports Gematria is a troll. Sports Gematria is an agent. Or Sports Gematria donated $20 to help feed a Haitian family. All right? So those of you who claim that Sports Gematria is an agent, stop it. Sports Gematria is doing a lot more than a lot of you are doing. All right? Okay, shout out to all these people. I want to keep showing their names. Because these are the people who who made the difference last Wednesday, right before Thanksgiving. All right. Next year, we will do it bigger. I don't know where uh, where I want to go. Maybe we'll go back to Haiti. There's a, other, uh, there's a lot of places in Haiti that I didn't get to tackle. There's a lot of places in Haiti that are way more poor than, than these areas. There are people who live... Basically outside, all they have is like a a metal sheet covering their 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 head from the rain. But um, and just think about how how wonderful these people are, right? I asked them to take a picture, and look, they all got smiles on their face. They 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 haven't let the poverty you know get to them. These people live happy lives. These are beautiful souls. They just been put into some difficult circumstances. And thank God for people who follow this channel. People who stepped up, we were able to make their, their day a little bit brighter. And to be honest with you guys, a lot of these people didn't even eat until we got there. All right? That, that, that's the reality. What I want to do next year, if you guys can see this photograph, there's a lot of people who are barefoot. They don't have any slippers, any, any sneakers. I want to I wanna take, I want to send uh, some some clothes and stuff like that. We're gonna, I'm going to tell you, we're going to do it bigger next, next year. Um, besides the food, I also want to give out some clothing because th this kid should not be barefoot, especially in the, in, the, in these dirt grounds like that. All right. Again, thanks everybody. God bless everybody who donated. Thank you for for trusting me. Thank you for caring. God is watching, and He definitely appreciates you. All right. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.